Harry will still be invited to the King's coronation next year, despite their Netflix documentary. According to reports, an invite will be extended to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from May the 6th next year, even after the couple's recent bashing of the palace. The historic event happens to clash with the Sussex's son Archie's fourth birthday, so whether they take up the offer is another question entirely. It's understood that the Sussexes have not yet received an invitation, but a source close to the family says the king loves both of his sons, and hopes the family will join him. All members of the family will be welcomed to the Grand Westminster Abbey affair, according to reports. Royal commentator Daniela Elsa said the move goes a long way towards making the royal family look magnanimous and warm-hearted. The royal family will be willing to be much bigger people and to look past the Netflix nonsense. Elsa, writing for News Australia, continued, The same report stated, even after the final episodes aired, there was no desire to make any changes to his carefully considered message in the wake of the increasingly ferocious attacks. As for Harry's wife, sources say King Charles is adamant the only way Meghan can attend or be around his and Queen Camilla's coronation is if she brings the children with her. No children means no Meghan, no matter what. As to the reason for Harry's wife to panic, it's all about her fake and the moon bump that dropped to her knees when she exited a royal engagement in Liverpool. Harry looked apoplectic with horror, while the actress smiled and quickly made her way into the car with a completely flat belly and very bumpy and fat knees. King Charles is reportedly undecided over whether his two youngest grandchildren, Archie and Lilibet, can use their titles of Prince and Princess, as well as their HRH stylings. The Sunday Times understands that the monarch will not make a decision on if his grandchildren can use their royal titles and HRH stylings until after the release of Prince Harry's forthcoming book. A source close to the king told the Sunday Times, Let's wait and see. No final decisions have been made just yet. On Sunday, addressing the nation in his first Christmas speech since he became monarch following the death of his mother, His Majesty mentioned the Queen and Prince Philip, sharing his condolences with those who've lost loved ones this year as well as mentioning the cost of living crisis currently gripping the nation. And while Prince William and Catherine, the Princess of Wales, got a mention, nothing was said about the Sussexes. Former royal butler Grant Harold, who worked at Charles's Highgrove estate for seven years, has said the decision made sense and was a sensible move. He said, I think the reality is that, for the King, he obviously talked about the Prince and Princess of Wales and their recent visit to Wales, which was a significant moment for the royal family. I think with everything that's gone on recently, it was probably best not to mention Harry and Meghan. They're not working into the royal family, so there isn't any real reason to mention them as such, because they haven't done anything of significance as working members of the firm. So it probably made sense not to mention them, to be honest. However, Harry reportedly wants the royal family to apologise to him before they attend the King's coronation. Harry and Meghan want a face-to-face meeting to address the claims they raised in their £88 million Netflix series. The Sussexes are said to want the firm to take responsibility for the pain and damage that they put the couple through.